and welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea the Cumbrian Crafter. I've come on today to start a little easy autumn crafts ideas series on my channel where each video I will make just an easy straightforward autumn craft um, that anybody can join in with. Um, today I'm going to start with a bookmark. Um, I do enjoy making bookmarks and I do use them all the time so I'm going to make an autumn themed one today. So I've taken a piece of card, this is the mixed media pad here but it can be any card, um, any thickness. And this is 3 inches by 8 inches and I've got an acrylic block and I'm using tea dye and antique linen but you can use any colours really, just sort of pale colours I would suggest. Just this is the background on the on the bookmark and I'm just going to put some ink down on the acrylic block. I'm just going to give it a little spritz with some water and then I'm going to dab the bookmark onto there. So we just want, this is just about, as I say, the background so it doesn't want to be too strong a colour. And then I'm going to use some of the tea dye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Tim Holtz Distress Spritz Spray. Um, again, if you haven't got one of these sprays, you could just use a normal paint spray or even just adding a little bit more water with the spray will move the, the, the ink you've already put down on. It's, it's, it's just the background. So I'm just going to... The lovely thing with this spray is it's got some mica powder that's sort of like a goldy colour. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that to one side to dry and if as if by magic I've got one here that is already dry that I made earlier on so in exactly the same way. So as you can see in the background we've got the two inks in the background and this the ink the spray the spritz spray has made a lovely gold shine on the top of there. Now I've taken a corner rounder and I've rounded the corners. You don't have to if you haven't got one of these, but I just think it adds a little something to it. Um, I'm going to do some stamping now. And I'm going to use this little stamp set here. It can be, you can use any stamp set, any that's just leaves. Um, I just don't suppose they have to be autumn looking leaves, but it, it helps if they do. I'm just going to take the first one and I'm going to use these inks here. You can use any inks, any that are the colour of autumn. So I've got a dark brown one here. And I'm just going to stamp that just on the, just randomly all over the the bookmark. Let me see. I've got this little one here. I shall use the red, all the lovely colours of, of autumn there. And then we can use this one. I'll use this shady lane, this colour, although I'm calling it more of like an olive green. Golden Meadow. There's a lovely deep mustardy yellow. Put that on there. I'm not sure where I got this stamp set. It may have been eBay. Um, it wasn't very expensive. Use this one again and maybe go back to the dark brown. Maybe 
this little cone. I'll use one of the smaller ones, maybe. And we'll have another bit of green one. Maybe a little green at the top as well. There we go. Alright, so we're finished with those stamps and those inks. Now I'm going to use the summertime orange one and I've got this little Lavinia stamp so you just need a smaller leaf and I've got this one here which is quite nice, it's got the little dots as well. Now I just want this to be quite faint, I don't want it to be too strong so I'm going to use second generation. So I'm just going to stamp it there and stamp it there. And a bit more up there. Oh, that wasn't second generation, Andrea. I always do that. But that's not a problem. So what we can do now. Think what we need to do next. Now I'm going to take some vintage photo and I'm going to go around the edges. is I've got this die and stamp set crafters companion it's got some lovely autumn sentiments in there so I've already stamped out two of the little sentiments leaves are falling autumn is calling and hello autumn so I think I'm going to position these on top I'm just going to edge them with the vintage photo it just gives that lovely look about it. I'm going to get some glue and I'm going to stick that on there. Now you can leave your bookmark like that or you could, let me see, we can put a hole in the top to add a little tassel. So we can add an eyelet as well if we want to. I've just I've got some little tassels here. Ideally I'd want that, um, that tassel I think would look lovely but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to attach that because that's not very long. I quite like, I know that's not really a very autumny colour, but I quite like the contrast and purple is my favourite colour. So if you've got a tassel, you would just feed that through there. As I say, it doesn't have to be this colour, just as an example to show you. And that's all you would do there. And that's your autumn tag. So thank you for watching today. I'm going to come back again with another easy autumn craft. I think I'm going to make an altered um, paper clip or a couple of altered paper clips next time. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.